Good morning guys and welcome back. So today I want to show you how to remove the factory gear knob from your Jeep TJ and replace it with an aftermarket one. And just before we get started, um, I was nominated by Jack to Jeep, a fellow YouTuber, to donate to a river cause hashtag Team Trees. Now if you haven't heard about this before, there's another YouTuber, I think it's called Mr. Beast, who is trying to plant 6 million trees around the world. So Jack to Jeep has nominated us to either donate money or plant a tree of our own. So at the moment Australia's not actually on the list to donate for some reason. Um, we'll be on the list very shortly, so when that becomes about I'll be donating $20. Um, but at the moment I'll be planting my own tree at my house and also heading up to one of my trails locally to plant a tree. Um, a very worthy cause, um, so if you guys want to get involved, um, a lot of people have nominated other people to get involved. But I think everybody can have something to offer. Whether it's $20, a dollar or planting a tree um, at your property or close to a trail that you do quite often. Um, so I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to go check that out and anything helps. A dollar, twenty dollars, whatever it might be. So I really appreciate it if you guys go on and donate what you can. Um, so today we're going to be re replacing the factory gear knob in my Jeep with a aftermarket one. So when I was growing up and I started getting into cars, I was about 16 or 17 and all we had money for was aftermarket gear knob. We didn't have money for wheels, we didn't have money for suspension and stuff like that. Um, so we just bought gear knobs and we just thought we were like part of the Fast and Furious crew and we are street racers and all that sort of dumb stuff but we were just kids, we were just messing around that sort of thing but still with gear knobs it's one of those things you use a gear stick every single day, it should be comfortable, it should be personal to you as well um, and I always found it quite cool, it adds a bit of a different element to the inside of your car um, so I went online um, and they're not overly expensive and you can get a whole, whole lot of different ones you can get grenades, samurai swords um, six toys if you're on that sort of into that sort of thing, um, but there's a whole range of different things uh, Which is actually awesome. So I just went on um, and got a roughly cheap one. The one I got um, Is just a white ball. And it's got like a universal screw in it. that will pretty much work on any vehicle you choose uh, Which is pretty awesome. There's different styles and um, you can choose and the one I got uh, was only cheap I think it's $11 of free shipping to Australia, which is pretty awesome. So today we're going to jump in the Jeep. I want to show you how to remove the factory one from the TJ um, and throw this one on. So I just wanted to get a nice white board to match the white and black look that I'm doing on the Jeep at the moment. Um, so let's jump in the Jeep and see how it looks. Alright, so there's a few different ways you can do this. One that I've seen online is you get a screwdriver um, and you pop this top off and there's actually a nut underneath here. So if you try and actually get it off with your hand, it's too tight. There's a nut that uh, threads onto the shaft um, and you can't get that off. So a lot of people just pop that off, um, get a socket and just undo that bolt. But that ends up damaging this ring around the outside. And, um, and if you want to take it back to factory or um, resell it, uh, which some people want the factory ones, you end up damaging that and you can't resell it, it's useless. So, majority of people have one of these. Now this is normally for removing your oil filter in your car when you're doing your own services. So what you can do is actually put it around the edge of the gear stick like that, create tension um, and break that nut and then you can get, just spin it off. And you can actually see up in there there's that nut. So what you can do to tighten that back up you can either do it by hand um, when you want to put it back on which is fine, um, that's tight enough. And next time you want to do it, you can just break it by hand because it's not that tight. Or you can just put a um, screwdriver down the end, pop that cap off, um, and just do that nut up. So that's already off. All you got to do is thread in your um, adapter there to match your shift knob there, and just screw the new one on. And then we're done. Happy days. Alright, so that's pretty much it guys. Super simple, really easy. I know a couple of people have struggled trying to get those gear knobs off and they actually end up destroying them. So when you get a screwdriver and try and pop that top off, it just damages 
the knob itself. If you don't mind, then it's fine, but this is a quick, easy way to get off without damaging at all. So you can end up reusing in the past, or sell it to someone that wants a factory gear knob. Maybe they want stuff that's old and ratty. Um, you probably on sell it, uh, make some money back. Might pay for the same price as uh, what you've spent on the new one. But it's small mods like this that make someone's. It's small mods like this that makes the build so much better. It's when. It's small mods like this that makes the build so much per more personal um, and yours. Like it's all good doing wheels and tires, bigger lift, guards, bumpers and stuff like that. And everybody sees that sort of stuff every single day. So when you start getting into the small stuff, the smaller finer details, it's what makes the build a little bit more personal, a little bit more yours. And if you're in the you're in the inside of the Jeep all the time driving. So you might as well make it a little bit nicer, a little bit more personal to you. Um, the way you want it. Some people do it by different seats and stuff like that, which is awesome. I wouldn't mind getting a set of different seats, maybe some more kind of racing seats that are a bit more snug, a bit more, um, yeah, just a bit more snug, a bit more racing feel instead of just some factory ones. To be fair, the factory ones in the Jeep are really comfortable, um, especially because they've got an aftermarket set of seat covers and they've got like a nice thick padding on it. But as I said before, small mods like this that I find really good makes just a bit more of a personal touch. So if you guys have got any mods that you want me to do that well that you want to see, please let me know in the comments below. Um, and I'll be uploading two videos a week now, not just one. Uh, one be a nice short video, just a uh, cheap Jeep how to. I'll be uploading just a short video, about a five minute video uh, once a week. Um, in the middle of the week, maybe a Wednesday um, or a Thursday, depending on my schedule with my son and work and stuff like that. Uh, but keep an eye out for those. It'll be just like little tips um, on stuff you can do to your Jeep. Um, like turning off the dome light, removing the glove box, removing the doors, um, cleaning stuff. Uh, just little things like that that I think that um, a lot of people will overlook or don't really know about. Um, so just going to make having a four-wheel drive and a Jeep just a little bit easier. Um, but if you guys got any quick tips that you like me to share, please leave in the comments below. I'd love to know them. I'll give you guys a shout out. Um, and do a whole video on just that. Um, so also tomorrow we'll be heading to uh, Summer Beach Fest, which is the local uh, Jeep shop down the road, so I'll be doing a video on that. Unfortunately, I won't be doing a whole video on that. I can't make it from the entire day. I can just make it in the morning, which we'll be doing, which they will be doing a bacon breakfast by Voodoo Bacon and have a coffee van as well um, there as well. But sometimes it's nice just to go um, spend an hour with um, like-minded people, have a look at their Jeeps, have a walk around um, and I'll show you what the Australian Jeep life is like. Um, and so also it's great to announce Lightbright, um, the YouTube channel will actually be coming to Australia and we'll be doing 2020 Grey Topless Day with us as well. So stay tuned for that, I'm sure there will be um, a bigger crowd there um, seeing what they're all about and stuff like that. So that's it for today guys, if you like this mod please give it a thumbs up um, and if you haven't subscribed already Please do, I really appreciate it. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video, and thanks for watching.